Okay, this is a uh, Little Pond Campground in the Catskills. It's uh, about 100 miles from where I live, New York, you know, in the New York area. Uh, came in last night and it rained all night. It's going to be a rainy weekend. It was either this or stay home. So uh, I got the solar panels out. They're, uh, they're actually doing okay. Uh, I do have overhead sky, which is good. Not sure how they would do in there, but uh, under the tree cover. But uh, pretty dim day, and the solar panels are keeping pace with the refrigerator, which I'm real happy about. Uh, set up last night in the rain. And uh, new for this trip is this thing called the Lumi Noodle. I don't know if you can see it. It's this little strip. I'll turn it on. It's a strip of lighting. LED lighting. It's enough to illuminate the dinner table like your, like your home. It's great. Noodle. Certainly bright enough to eat dinner with. I'll uh, show it in still shots. Uh, I'm running, it runs on USB. I have a four double A's in this, uh, in this uh, box that has a USB connector. So I can uh, use it. I'll show some night shots of this. Pretty good, $17 and uh, doesn't take up much space. Pretty versatile. Okay, it's been, uh, slept good. I slept for 11 hours last night. No, 10 hours, 10 hours last night. Uh, I was really burned out from work. And uh, this is my therapy, sleep therapy, clean air. So uh, gonna make the best of a really rainy weekend, Memorial Day weekend. But uh, it's time for breakfast. And uh, I'm gonna get making breakfast. So yeah, so I didn't need the bird wings last night. It's not a wind-driven rain, so these uh, the REI canopy is is perfect. I uh, kept the uh, the dining area and the cooking area dry, so that's good. So uh, it's going to be soft-boiled eggs, toast, and uh, for breakfast. Here's the kitchen in action. Music, Haydn. A little too early for rock. Tea, water. Soft boiled eggs. There's the, uh, the kitchen tools. A new mirror. Oh, it's time to check the refrigerator. My, my love, beloved refrigerator. I can't wait to grope it. Okay, one big advantage of the uh, refrigerator is we can load it up ahead of our departure. So today is Wednesday, and we can Friday. We're gonna load this up and I'm gonna put it in the uh, in the refrigerator. Okay, what are we taking? Uh, two boxes of ravioli. Okay. Uh, four preformed but raw turkey burgers. Uh, whole wheat English muffins to put the turkey burgers on. One loaf of bread. Um, eight eggs in an artfully sawed off package. Right, since there's no ice, we don't have to worry about it being mushed up. Cheese. Mm. Some peanut butter. Some jam. Some margarine. And some ketchup. That's it? That's it. The other stuff doesn't need refrigeration. Okay, I'll put this in the uh, trailer and turn on the refrigerator. Some late additions were some uh, dark chocolate and uh, nuts, pecans and almonds. So this should be enough for uh, two dinners, uh, three breakfasts, and uh, uh, appropriate lunches, three, three lunches. We're gonna have breakfast out on the way home and dinner out one night while we're camping. Okay, I powered up the uh, refrigerator. The food's in here, I actually have a lot more room over here. I'm bringing a small air circulator uh, fan made by uh, uh, by Campco. Runs on a battery and this will uh, circulate the air if I need it. So I'm bringing that along. I haven't activated it yet. Uh, got a nice internal light here. Current temperature in the fridge is 60 degrees and it is set for 34 and we're in business. So, 
So I guess we'll stay here until I, uh, well, until we come back. <laughs> this is the refrigerator's on and we're all set. I did put a little stick over here and that will hold the refrigerator away from the side wall. This needs ventilation. So this little stick will prevent the refrigerator from sliding up against the wall when this is in. Okay, it just gives it a little air gap and uh, that way it uh, can vent heat as it's cooling the, uh, the, uh, the food. So there we go, we're prepped. Tomorrow night I'll uh, fill the trailer, I'll uh, fill the car with all of our stuff uh, with tomorrow night's Thursday and I'll flush the water tanks in the uh, trailer. I'll uh, um, sanitize them with uh, a little Clorox and I think a tablespoon of Clorox gallons of water is plenty and then I'll flush them out several times and uh, and uh, we'll be in business to leave at Friday at noon uh, hold on here here it comes it's uh, 35 degrees in there right now oh yeah about the refrigerator pretty important uh, a couple of things with the food in here a dozen eggs this little fan must have it really spikes the uh, it really increases the performance of the refrigerator by moving the air around um, it does keep the food colder um, very nice a little light in here so uh, you may want to consider that if you do go for a refrigerator the little uh, uh, who makes this Camco little Camco refri uh, refrigerator fan costs nothing runs a month on 2d batteries I put in adapters. I'm running it on double A's, uh, because, and then that'll keep me going for three days. I don't need these cells. I have tons of double A's. So uh, that's the report from uh, the breakfast camp. Good morning. Good morning. What's for breakfast? Uh, well, green tea, black tea. Slowly. Soft boiled eggs. Blueberry jam. Health toast. Thousand grain. Uh, slices of cheddar cheese. Uh, tomato and onion and, um, and I think that's everything. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. After a lot of cooking, the stove has a bunch of crumbs on it. So to take care of that, you just grab the uh, the grill for the pot grill and pull that up. Comes right off. Pull this up. Comes right off, and that makes it really easy to clean. I'm going to brush it out now. We've had two days of continuous clouds. Uh, no direct sunlight, just cloud cover, uh, rain. Uh, but the solar panels have kept pace with the refrigerator. Um, the refrigerator has been working. The battery has been charging. And it's not fully charged. Fully charged, it would probably peak out around 13 and a half, 14 volts. It's been getting up to 12 and a half to 13 volts uh, at the end of the day. In the morning, it's been down to 12.1 volts. And uh, I have yet to test how many days I can run the refrigerator without uh, any power um, on this battery. I'll probably have to do that coming up, but uh, in warm weather. Now the weather's been in the 70s here. Uh, hasn't been excessively hot, cooler at night, but uh, everything's working great. The refrigerator is really a pleasure to use. And uh, it was really, we made the right decision coming away, going away this weekend, uh, rather than staying home even though it was going to rain, because it's just a hell of a lot more enjoyable. And uh, today, we're going to go mountain biking on the Catskill Scenic Rail Trail. It rained all night. It's a uh, wet exit from uh, Little Pond Campground, but I had a good time. Totally recharged. Uh, 
slept a lot. Really peaceful sleep. The trailer kept us dry and warm. Uh, it's coming down now. <laughs> we packed up everything last night so, uh, when it wasn't raining. And it was a good thing. We slept all night listening to the rain on the windows. Uh, all right, back to reality. Uh, back home from an intermittently rainy weekend, and I mean really rainy, and driving through a lot of rain on the way home. So, uh, uh, some of the maintenance I do when I get home, I just leave the refrigerator open, I dry it out, there's a little bit of ice in there. Um, again, this little fan from Camco is pretty good. Uh, I'm going to be using it from now on. It's uh, just a little fan, circulates air in the refrigerator, has a little squirrel cage fan in there. I ran it for from Friday to today is Monday on two double A's. It normally takes two D cells, which run a month. Uh, I'm going to leave this open, leave the refrigerator open a crack to let it dry out completely. I wiped it out. Um, down here, I made some shims uh, to hold the refrigerator in a spot that I wanted to hold sideways. Uh, forward and backward, I can move it a few inches. I put a shim on that side, which I made, and two small shims on this side. And this allows me to move the refrigerator forward or backward. Uh, when the refrigerator is inside, 